In this video, we're going to be doing some maintenance on our Onan Marquis generator, uh, testing some of the windings and all that, uh, the slip rings, resistance, and replacing the voltage regulator. So, yeah. So I don't have the old one, but let me tell you, this one was completely uh, fried. Like this was popped and uh, it was not a good situation. What I think actually happened was my slip rings got really dirty in that salty air out on Padre. And uh, Flight Systems, the company I bought this from, they were nice enough to replace this. And uh, Tom there, he does a great job. Uh, so we're going to do this pre-installation maintenance that they recommend here and uh, make sure that everything is still functional in the generator. Now I do notice there's a bunch more rust on here uh, than there was last year and I think it was just that salty air. It really did a number on this. So anyway, let's get started on this. I have printed out here uh, just a couple of pages from uh, the uh, uh, a PDF that they have online uh, at Flight Systems. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to write down all these values that I get here. For sure these uh, resistance readings, I'm not going to worry about the uh, field voltages too much. Um, and this is kind of what we're looking for. Basically, we're looking for that 22 to 28 ohms on the uh, field circuit there. All right, uh, following on along on uh, the video from Flight Systems, I'm checking the stator the windings. That's on pins two and three. And I'm showing point, or not point three, but just three ohms. So they said between uh, three and four ohms is good basically somewhere around there is a good stator so so far so good all right now the other ones is uh it looks like it's pins uh nine and ten here that i have selected or i have uh my leads connected into and it sounded like that was supposed to be in between 20 and 30 ohms and i'm at 20 right now uh initially when i first tried this it was actually at 30 but then I spun it over a little bit and uh, tried to clean the slip rings a little bit. And well, it's tough to see them in there. They're a little shinier now. And now it's reading a much better uh, ohm measurement. So that's good. I think we're actually in pretty good shape. So I should be able to plug this in. And uh, I think just what happened is my slip rings got too dirty and burned out the uh, voltage regulator. What that, what ends up happening is it just keeps pushing. This has to work harder and harder and eventually just overheats and kills itself. So I don't know, we'll give, uh, we'll give that a try here. Upon closer inspection, we do have a little bit of a problem here that the rings are not as clean as I'd like. And uh, I'm only getting 80 some volts uh, at the out or uh, at the end there. So uh, I'll show you that here. And then I made my own version of the Flight Systems Slick Stick with some plexiglass and uh, some sandpaper. So I'm gonna give that a try. But let me show you what the volts are at right now. That's better. 91, 90. I was only getting like 80 something before. I don't know. So I'm gonna try and clean these up. I shouldn't be causing any damage because I'm not really pulling any load. I'm just connected right here, just measuring. I cleaned up the uh, slip rings and it's just kind of, it keeps building up just a little bit more, a little bit more. But it's still not to like 120 where it should be. I'm just going to turn this off and then I'm going to turn it back on and see if it's any different. Well, it's the same here. It keeps kind of creeping. 
creeping up just real slow. Still cold. That number keeps getting higher. So I plugged it in here and I'm gonna go and measure it on the inside and see what uh, the Victron controller tells me. Well, it's pulling power from it. And it sees it as about that. It's showing it at about that 110. I don't know why it just takes so long to build up. So now we're, now we're the right voltage where we should be. Hertz are perfect. Volts are pretty darn perfect. Um, boy, I don't know, I just, why did it take this long to get here? That's what I wanna know. Um, up until this point, I haven't really cared, but I went through two voltage regulators now and I wanna figure out why they're failing. So I just turned on uh, my air conditioner fans and that brought up the load a little bit here and the voltage is still being very, I mean, extremely stable and we're right at 120 where it should be. Um, I don't know, while I'm running this power, I'm gonna go and feel the regulator and just make sure it's not getting warm. Still cold. I don't know, let's see what happens when we uh, when we throw more at it. Now it's gonna kick into a hybrid mode because I have my, uh, yeah, my input current limit at 15 amps. So when I switch to cool, yeah, see that goes to assisting. Staying right there, rock solid. Let's uh, ramp this up a little bit here. Let's go to 18. See, it only takes. Um, it won't, it won't go right up to 18, it'll go below that to leave some headroom for the loads to change. Because it doesn't want to be right on the edge of assisting or not assisting. Um, so let's... Yeah, geez, it's rock solid there. Let's go up to 22. Or, uh, yeah, 22. Let's see what happens. And, boy. Earlier this spring when I was doing this, uh, I would get a little voltage sag. Right now I'm getting no voltage sag. I mean, very minimal. Jeez, that is really good. All right, let's go. And it'll probably try and push the whole load over there now. Yep. So now it's not assisting anymore, it's taking everything. We're still at 118. I just want to, uh, I'm gonna go and feel that regulator just to make sure it's not getting hot. Raise it up to 30, then we're good there. I'm starting to feel a little bit of warmth in here, but I don't know what's normal. I 
that's pretty good. I mean, 117 volts at 28 amps. I'll take that. Um, I mean, my my house can't do that. Now, I remember one of the things they said was to not shut down the generator while under load like this. So, and I used to do that sometimes. So uh, I need to make sure to unplug it in the bay below and then turn the generator off. Or I wonder if I can disconnect here. What are my options? I think I can, yeah, I would want to switch probably to inverter only and then I could and then I could turn it off. Yeah, geez, 20 volt, 120, 121. That is doing a great job. Way to go, flight systems. Well, uh, so I just, I, un I unplugged uh, from the electrical bay there and uh, this has definitely gotten a little warm. I feel some heat in it. Um, but I don't know, I wouldn't say it's, like it's not all too hot to hold or anything like that. I don't know, I feel like it's just a little warm and all the fresh air is coming in through here so it's not the exhaust air that's making it hot. But, well, it, it's not hot, it's just a tick warm. Um, I feel like I need to run a load longer and just like keep a temperature probe on it or something. I don't know. So check this out. This is my uh, DIY slip, slick stick. And you think that's a lot of copper on there. Check this one out. That's a 150 grit sandpaper. It really took off a lot of uh, gunk and stuff and they're all nice and shiny now. I'm really kind of lost on this. If any of you are an Onan generator expert, I would love your thoughts on this. Uh, it's kind of a mystery to me. I mean, the windings seem good. Stator seems good. Slip rings are in pretty good shape now. Um, they were a little bit dirty early on, but why did it start at, I mean, I saw AC voltages at like 66, 67, then it, fin then it moved up to 70, then 80, and then 90, and then eventually, you know, it climbed all the way up to 120 and it seemed pretty happy. Why would it take that long? That doesn't make sense. Uh, I mean, if I just need to, let this generator warm up for five, 10 minutes before I put it under a load. I'm okay with that. Uh, I guess I just need to know that. So, um, yeah, any of your thoughts would be great. Um, I think that's it for this video. Hope, uh, uh, hope you're doing well wherever you're at. And uh, once again, thank you to Flight Systems. Uh, it's not sponsored. I'm, of course, I'm not big time like that, uh, but they really did me a solid. Um, I'm not saying my voltage regulator, was, it's failing was my fault, but they probably could have not replaced it, not fixed it. Um, but it's uh, well worth getting um, your new Onan voltage regulator from Flight Systems. Uh, Tom and everybody over there, great, great people. Uh, so I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, don't get sick. <laughs>